Hi everyone, Lord Crew here and welcome to my channel. So the Winter Wonderland mini sets are already out. So the first thing that I did is purchase the Woodcutter Imp and add it on the budget aggro that I created few few days ago. So without further guys, uh, let's proceed. So this is like the updated version of my budget aggro that I uh, created a YouTube video a few days ago. And what I did is just added the Woodcutter Imp because I mentioned on the previous video that uh, Woodcutter Imp will be, a, I believe, like will be nice in this uh, budget aggro. And as you can see, the uh, the price of this uh, one is like less than $2. And this is what I came up. I did some multiple tests during my live stream. And so far, this is like uh, showing a positive sign. As you can see, I having like a 77% win rate, but uh, there are like few people already tested it one. But still above uh, 55%. Oh, so let's see if we if this deck if this deck will go as I has like a 60% win rate. But it's like almost like exact exact same concept on the previous one. So the previous one is this one. As you can see, there's a Leviathan Hunter and uh like Valkyr, Valkas and Orkishilit. Same that one. In the updated version, I added the Woodcutter Imp and removed the Leviathan Hunter there. And uh, the Leviathan Hunter, I replaced with the Boy Blood Outlaw. And removed one Valka's Captain and one Orchish Elite and added the uh, Woodcutter in there. And if you notice, it's similar, same play style. So uh, this is like uh, literally for uh, free-to-play player, free play players, or a, this is a budget version. As you can see, it's less than $30 now compared with adding with the Leviathan Hunter. It's up to you guys if you want to replace the Boiled Blood Outlaw with the Leviathan Hunter and proceed with adding Woodcutter Imp by removing Valkas Captain and Orkish Elite. Okay, and as you can see, the gameplay is still the same. If versus Agro, I highly recommend do a little bit of board control uh using your blitz creature and your uh high health creature and then uh then go face uh, eventually especially once you receive uh your another round and also uh when playing a big minion so once i start playing big minion i just go face and use the slayer power now versus control uh very easy uh still go with the early board creature and then go face i just literally go face even especially against aggro deception so uh Versus aggro deception, they are like he did. I just go face to face and let him do what he do, and I will do mine. So that's like the only uh, drawback there. Uh, Mulligan, I always drop anything that is forecast, like anything that three casting costs and above. So three casting costs, four casting costs, five, five. I automatically drop it. I start with the highest one, so at least I go roll it. So for example, five four, three, until everything is either one casting cost or two casting cost. That's like my goal for my mulligan there. Uh, uh, best first turn play here are always like the skulls, the, the one casting cost, except for the Vanguard Axuman. So I usually go for skull, uh, the Skull King Valkyrie, boy, uh, then Trial Spirit, uh, buff, make this one as one four, or make, uh, or Skull King, then Boil Blood, then Probably boil blood and then trial spirit to make this one a two three. So any combination of this one casting cost, and if in case I'm a second player, I stood, I will still play the the first casting cost, or I will just go for the blitz one, either the tavern blower or the vanguards are cool man. Uh, if I'm a second player and then use trial spirit. So and then, uh, board control a little bit on on first, second, and third turn, and then uh, and then go face eventually, especially if you know that you're ahead of the board. I either still board control or go face. Now, if how about the woodcutter? Usually, wood uh, woodcutter imp are very nice early round. I I always go face here. Sometimes I go first turn woodcutter imp and then go face, and then eventually the next turn I will I will just keep woodcutter imp go face. Or there are times like I'm literally desperate in board control. I will use woodcutter imp because he's a three three. Uh, for two casting cost three three. Uh, with God Blitz, I can sometimes use it to kill any creature like a 2-3 or a 2-2 or a 1-3, right? S something like a, like a weapon. Think of Woodcutter Imp as like a weapon, but every time you use, you receive damage, even it's a, even on the opponent. And uh, and that's it. So one of the be uh, best late minions are the White 4 and the Cunning. They're like so strong, especially against uh, control. Uh, so 
for the substitution card, the only thing that I see more expensive here na aside from the additional of woodcutter imp, just only $2. Uh, uh, OD around 9 and can, uh, can, uh, Commander Pyros around $3. You can like literally do a substitution or any three casting costs or you can like add one Orkish Elite or like one of the Valkas Captain. So in other ways. So either go for the Valkas or uh, majority uh, these three can be replaced by all of this of the following. If you don't have Tame Mammoth, Lacus Adherent, or Hunt Warden for the cheapest one. Okay. Uh, so if we go back to my profile here, this is my profile. I played this one like uh, like a few hours ago. As you can see, I I literally went for a, a good play here, uh, playing uh, Agro War here. I tried different variations. So as you can see, my first variation is... Uh, Adding the woodcutter imp here with still Leviathan, uh, I have like a, uh, a good 66% win rate. And then eventually I replace this one because I face a lot of death, deceptions, and magic. And this one on the first turn play, it always dies. So if you do a first first turn play Leviathan, they will just god power it. Compare with the compare with the Skulkin and Trial, which has has more than two health. And that's the main reason why I went for the boil blood outlaw here on first turn. Uh on the first turn. Just like I still have a creature and not be killed by the by the by the god power here. Uh I tried another variation like uh, removing uh zero two. I tried remove the some people on my live stream mentioned that remove the Leviathan Hunter and uh and add the wood imp. But I noticed because I only have like uh like total of six one casting cost minion, I feel like uh not enough on I feel not enough firepower during the first turn, especially if I'm the first player. Uh I feel like it's not enough. And that's the main reason why I told myself, like, no, I need a one casting cost replacement for the Leviathan Hunter. And that's the main reason why I ended up with adding a boil blood and still went to my uh last week uh prediction that you can like replace Bathcalf's captain. Or all Kishilit. Now it's up to you guys because you can like even remove Warmonger Smith here, especially if you don't li literally have not enough weapon now. You can like have one Warmonger here and two Valkas. It's up to you guys, but for like a budget person, go Warmonger first. Or you can go two Valkas, Warmong War one Warmonger, or literally remove the Warmonger at all and then add two Valkas and two Orkishilites. That's like the that substitution, what I did. Uh, I think the variation of adding the woodcutter imp. Now, if you don't like uh, woodcutter imp because it's like a dual edge blade, it it deals three damage to you. Also, you can like go proceed with the old version that uh, was like tested before, like this budget, which is still has a high spin rate out of uh, uh, two thousand gameplay. You can still play the same deck here without the woodcutter imp. Okay. So kindly please continue watching for the the play the, uh, the gameplay and hope you enjoy it.
light is merciful. Refuse the path thrust upon you. to victory. The main reason why I killed Sorin because he has heal. He will just heal.
within all life. Mm.
nice win. Uh, he has a very expensive deck. Get ready. Let us fight with honor. Ah, uh, this is a bad. I, I wish I, I mulligan a lot of forecasting cost there. Also a budget, so you must meet. So budget versus budget, you might have like a. What makes the aggro war much more better than light? It's because of the blitz. We have like more blitz compared to to them. one later on. I don't want to attack this one to work control, better to attack this. Uh, next turn we can play this one. So this is like a powerful one. Imagine next turn I will time fate again. Clear the board.
is not possible. But this is like uh, three damage per turn, both of us. your back. Supposed to be this is a bad idea because they have like bombard already. But we were gonna risk it if we can because the more this one gets damaged, it will buff our other creature. I can't do that. It's not who strikes the hardest, it's who strikes the deepest. It's that time again. That is not. buff this one because he has an overkill
I'm not playing a lot because I don't want like to rupture dance. This is so strong. I had front line, can like had face this one. Thank you so much for watching if you like the video kindly please subscribe and like and uh if you have like comment or suggestion or like please leave a comment and thank you for watching see you next time there's a distance between us